Welcome to making a Stuart model steam plant part 57. Preparing and painting the Stuart 504 boiler side panels and in between coats of paint I reassemble the check valve for the live steam injector of my showman's engine. This 504 boiler is not an original old one, it's a brand new one from Stuart Models. I painted the front and rear cast iron supports, now it's time to paint the side panels. After removing the four brass machine screws, I can take the first side panel off. In case any viewers are wondering what the mess on the side of this boiler is, it's where the silver solder has run, and it's nothing to do with me because I didn't make it. Once I'd removed the first side panel, I turned the boiler over to do the same on the other side. This is a tricky job, you have to support everything as you move the boiler because it's going to try and fall out of the frame. Once in this position, it's a very easy job to remove the other four brass screws and then remove the boiler from the cast iron mountings. In this episode, I'm going to show the painting of the side panels and also the painting of the base. The first thing I need to do is remove the grub screws that hold the burner in place. The burners are tight fit in the brass holder and the grub screws bite into the brass of the burner to hold it securely in place. Once I removed the burner, I started the sanding process. I need to clean up the steel before I paint it. That means either side of the part that I made, the base, but only one side of the side panels because I've already painted the other side a while ago. I'm using fairly coarse wet or dry sandpaper for this job and I just need to scratch the surface to act as a key for the paint. This next sequence is nothing to do with the steam plant that I'm building. It's a part for my traction engine. This video is a bit out of sequence because I painted this with etching primer yesterday. And today I've just finished painting it using LMS Crimson Lake Red. This is quite an old tin of Phoenix Precision Paints LMS Crimson Lake Red and the paint's a bit thick but it goes on beautifully. As you can clearly see by looking at the part, no runs or sags either. I'll leave the paint drying on the traction engine part while I go into the outer part of the workshop to start the painting process of the bottom of the base and the side panels. The weather's got a lot better in the last couple of weeks. I've been holding off on the painting because it's just been too cold, but now it's a lovely day out there. The painting is taking place next to a wide open door so I can see how nice it is. This etching primer is high build primer so you can actually apply quite a lot of it. Some etching primers require a very thin coat, but this one works okay as you see me doing it here. If any keyboard warrior experts out there are currently twitching over their keyboards to send me a message saying how horrible my painting is, please don't bother because it works for me. I always apply too much paint, but once I've rubbed the surface down, the second coat is not normally as thick. And here we are 24 hours later, everything's dry and it's time to apply some high temperature black to the base. I'm painting the top side of the mounting base and this paint does not need a primer because it's high temperature paint. Here we go. When I'm spraying with rattle cans, I try to evenly coat the parts. I apply a medium thickness coat and then by the time I've rotated the part a few times, the coats build up. It may look a bit orange peely in places, but it won't once it's dried. And in any case, this part of the metal plate is inside the boiler, so you won't see it anyway. I mentioned in the last video that there will be a gap in the videos. And this gap in the videos was supposed to start tomorrow, because that's the day I was dreading the prostate biopsy appointment. But as it turns out, my eldest daughter Emma has caught COVID-19 again. And her mother, my first wife, who was going to be taking me to the hospital and is part of my support network, may be out of action. So I phoned the hospital and cancelled the appointment because I may have COVID-19 too. Although at the moment I feel perfectly fine. I've also used the high temperature black paint on the side panels. I'll see what they look like when I rub them down. Here's a shot of the paint drying. It should flatten out a bit after a while. I've just done a COVID lateral flow test and that appears to be negative. It remains to be seen whether I actually catch COVID-19 or not. Although since I had bubonic plague and the Black Death, I don't seem to catch very much these days. I phoned the hospital and they said, not a problem, we will reschedule the biopsy after a short period of time has elapsed. I would just like to mention that this is not my prostate gland, it is a part for my traction engine. 
It's now looking resplendent in its Crimson Lake paint, and here it is with the stainless steel ball in the centre. This is a one-way valve, a check valve. And here's the complete unit. I've put the cap back on it. It's attached to the pipe, ready to fit back to the traction engine. As I said at the beginning, this is not part of the Making a Stuart Model steam plant series. I just thought that it was a good idea to paint this part while I was waiting for the paint on the boiler side panels to dry. Just before I go, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters, especially the ones who sent me messages regarding my health issues. This whole scenario seems very strange. I'm 69 years old, and the last time I was in hospital was in 1975. And that's when I had a broken leg by being a passenger in a car that hit an oak tree. And that's it for this short episode. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.